Today, working on this Tesla Model 3 up here in the Oakland Hills, and I have that much working area. Oakland Hills is a very tough area to find parking. I want to glue pull it, but I needed a tree. I think that's going to be the one. But I don't know if I need it, if I have a, another idea. I had them remove the wrap finish so I can fix the dent and the wrap finish will be put back on. So not too bad, you know. I've seen a lot worse. I like how smooth it is. All right, let's apply some glue pulling equipment. All right, before I set up all my gear, first step, I want some rubbing compound to really go over the whole area to make sure the glue is adhering evenly all the way across. So that's first step. Okay. Good compound. And then after that, I think a little, a little dab of lacquer thinner across the whole thing. I like being challenged. And in this case, I envisioned holding my slot bar up with these two stands I found on the side of the road. I think these were used maybe in, you know, for a volleyball net or a sign or something, but they work great for holding up my slot bar 48. So the slot bar comes in different lengths. 48 is perfect for covering all the way to the inside of the door and back into the taillight. I want to be able to work off of the strongest parts of the car, really. I got the three hooks. I got all my pads ready. Time to glue up. And that's my goal here is to always have equipment that can pretty much work anywhere. Next up is going to be my lateral tension equipment. This is really stout material. Three quarter inch all thread. And when you start backing that out, it's amazing the power. I like how I can just throw it down on the ground, start working with it. Making the right adjustments just takes a few seconds. You're not using your hand. You get to use some real power. Once I got the tension locked in, I got my steel tabs on there and it was ready to pull. Man, this setup is amazing how strong it was. And what you want is no flex. You want solid pull right away. All right, it's quite the setup here. Start moving it. Always number one. All right, let's see. Okay, I'm starting to settle in over there. This I might have to check on. Right, let's see. Good tension there. Just enough. All right. Just a little bit more here. to release right there. And look how that radius got, got straight. This is just holding right now. I just moved it one more time. 
hopefully it's not too much. Let's see. Well, that was it. That's as far as I'm gonna go with that. Here's what I like, is everything is steel, so you can just bend it and try and pull it off. You don't have to worry about plastic breaking. I designed this system because I wanted to be able to pull the tab off and not worry about breaking it. Secondly, I wanted to have a, a variety of lengths, and that's why I went to all thread. So I have one that's down to 10 inches all the way up to 60 inches. Whenever I need it, it's all set up. I am extremely pleased with the very first setup. It actually brought a lot of it like I wanted. It brought the radius out. Look at that. Probably can come out just a little bit more. You can see the, the dip right there. It'd be a perfect time to go after that double metal right there. Wow. My lateral pulling didn't leave any any issues you know that's what I like about it same on this side I was looking to see if there's any issues with the lateral pull tab this is the one that I don't know we'll see how that goes but so far I like this turned out the way I want I like designing equipment that I need because I'm a technician in the field using it every day all right before it gets too dark I'm gonna do one more pull get this one going that one pull I just made right there that was a big low right there and now it's nice and flat so I'm going to do these this and I haven't even put a tool on it yet alright Get that gooey tab inside on there. There we go. That's a strong pull right there. All right. This is really easy to hook up. All right, last pull. Okay, this one truly is the last one of the night. See, here's what's awesome. It's just, it's, there's no damage from these feet because the rubber is so thick. This turkey. Oakland Hills. There's wild turkeys. Finish today's Tesla, or the one from yesterday. Set up. I'm ready to roll. This is after glue pulling yesterday. I got here really late in the afternoon and didn't get much done, but at least I got the glue pulling setups done. And now I'm going to go in here and uh, slot bar on the dog leg. Lifted quite a bit. Yes.
Okay, another round of hours working on this Tesla. Let's take a look. Now this is really just from that session of glue pulling, a little pushing on the uh, on the lip there, and mainly just slapping. I really haven't gotten behind it at all with tooling, and that's what today is going to do. I'm going to finish this out by coming in from this area with that hole. Of course, more glue pulling, and then I'm going to pull the uh, subwoofer. So what's nice about these repairs, or at least this particular one, is it wasn't here. This is one of the worst areas to get damage on the Tesla, because uh, this is where our two walls, or the inside wall, intersects. This is going to be the challenge today. But I uh, made some tooling. That hopefully it will get me there from that spot. What's going on? Check this out. From up here, I'm going all the way down the dog leg to get this one. It's pretty far down there. And let's get some pressure. Let's see if you can see the movement. A sneak peek. Still struggling on it, but uh, this came out really nice. Just got back from lunch. Trying to dial this thing in, and that deep one's getting done without drilling. It's just crazy what it takes to get in there. About two hours ago, I wasn't sure if I was going to get this one. That was pretty deep dense, so I'm starting to see it come up. And I have more faith that I'm going to finish this. <laughs> Slowly but surely. That sound, of course, is the tooling behind, meticulously pushing each pixel. And that's what we do, is we sculpt reflection. It's like taking pixels in a digital picture and matching everything up again. This is what you're doing 70% of the time in paintless dent repair, is meticulously fixing the orange peel or the fixing the reflection to the point where you're going to please someone to get paid. So it may take extra hours looking into a light. It may take a tool from behind in just the right way, another tool to approach it from a different angle. 
It all is part of the process. This is paintless dent repair, and it's fantastic that I can do this on the side of the road. Okay, all done with this Model 3 Tesla. Big damage on the right quarter. Let's take a look. Still got to put the uh, trunk back together, but I wanted to show you, you know, of course I didn't drill any holes. Okay, put that all back together. This car is done. Just put back this pad shoulder rest right here so all that access is all done and remember you did not drill a hole up inside here let's double check with my flashlight especially down in front where that really tough dent was Thank you.